Okay, we're back with Skunk Hour. Only skunks that search in the moonlight for a bite to eat. They march on their souls up Main Street. Well, time out, time out, guys. Shoes have souls, right? Skunks don't march. What is What does this call up the idea of? This idea of an army. It's Of course, it's not a literal skunk army, but that's the idea that it calls up, and they're marching beneath the church, the Trinitarian church. Oh, this is a strange resolution. Wow. Now here we're back with I. So we're back with Robert Lowell. Where is he? He's back home. I stand on top of our back steps and breathe the rich air. Why would you use that to describe the smell of a skunk? It's rich. Wow. This is this is really strange. A mother skunk. Ooh. Here we have another female, right? So here we, we're at the end of the poem, and this end of the poem is connecting us to the beginning of the poem with that ma matriarchal image. And so now here we have another image, right, of a mother, but now it's a mother skunk with her column of kittens. So here again, we have this idea of the army column of kittens swills the garbage pail. She jabs her wedge head in a cup of sour cream, drops her ostrich tail, and will not scare. Wow, so what do we see? We clearly see that the, the mother skunk is unconcerned, right? Is almost as if she's mocking, right? Because most of the time when a wild animal sees somebody, right, that somebody's gonna, that animal is, is gonna run away. Wow. So what do we see in here at the resolution? We have this idea of youth, right? And mothering, but at the same time, it's not right. Right? We can use that that quote. And this really lets us know a lot about confessional poetry. It gives us a look into the mind of someone who is clearly not right. Right? So what we're left with is the sense that this is clearly uncomfortable. And a lot of times when we think about a resolution, we think it's going to be happy. But remember, in postmodernism, it's, you know, the amplification of modernism. All those things that we've been looking at and working with are just getting louder. And that's what we see here in Skunk Hour. Yeah, it's it's uncomfortable. We're given a glimpse into a mind where the the speaker himself realizes that he's not right. And the hope that we have here is, you know, of a, a skunk, a creature that creates revulsion, and everybody who sees a skunk is gonna run away from it. But that's what Robert Lowell is being drawn to, those things that most people run away from. And that, in a sense, becomes like an allegory for confessional poetry in itself. These things that for, you know, years and years and years, no one would address, no one would talk about, suddenly becomes the source of poetry and in a deeper sense, of art itself. Wow, what an incredible, incredible poem. 
Um, yeah, I know. Shaking the head and saying, boy, I need to read that again. Yeah, go ahead and, and read it again. A, a good way to approach this poem, as well as some of the other works of the confessional poets, is to read it out loud. So maybe you can get yourself into that mindset of Robert Lowell, your own skunk hour. So until we get to be together again, be well, do good work, and keep in touch.